what is what is it in humanity that is always moved towards something called religion or God? Is it only a projection as a result of fear and suffering, a seeking for help? Or is, is it something deeply real, necessary, intelligent? What is it in humanity that has always moved towards something called religious religion of God. Is it only a projection as a result of fear and suffering, a seeking for help? Or is it something deeply real, necessary, intelligent? As the questioner points out, historically and actually, man has always sought something beyond himself. Man has always said, this is not enough. I have my food, clothes, shelter. I live in this world. I die, but there must be something more. I'm sure every human being, at least who is alert, who is fairly intelligent, must have asked this question. Even the committed communist must have asked, is this all? Is this suffering, pain, and nothing more? And the guy's questioner says, Is it, does fear make us fear, does make us invent something, an outside agency that will protect us, guard us? So we want to go into the question very deeply. If there is no, when there is no fear whatsoever psychologically, whatsoever, what is the state of your mind? Please go with, inquire together. What is the state of mind that is totally, completely free from all fear? Would it seek any? Would it have any desire to protect itself? Would it have any need or necessity? to seek something to which it can pray, worship, or ask help. You say, when you are perfectly healthy, physically, would go near a doctor. Would you study all the dive books? See every morning the expert doing exercises on the television? Similarly, a very tremendously healthy mind, healthy in the sense, having no fear, completely no fear. End to sorrow. The understanding of the whole movement of 
Pressure, you follow? Healthy, sane, rational mind. Would it need to go to any church? Go on, sir. Answer for yourself. It's only the mind that's crippled, conditioned, unhealthy, fearful, aching, lonely, deeply sorrowful, wants naturally some help. And so it projects God, saviors, the whole religious circle. But that suffering, that loneliness, that fear, he has not been able to solve. He hasn't gone into it. And we have had saviors, we have had leaders, we have, we have had every kind of help in the world. All the evangelists, all the preachers, all the enormous you know, They are not free men from this ache. So the question is really, can we be a light to ourselves? not dependent psychologically on anyone. Action that will not breed conflict, regret, sorrow, pain inwardly. You understand? Can we understand ourselves so completely? Or is that not possible? We have never tried. We have tried everything else. We have gone to the moon, invented most marvelous machines, extraordinary surgical instruments. We have got. The brain has got extraordinary capacity, but that capacity we have never applied to ourselves, because we have always asked for someone else to help us. That's what you are doing here now. When I'm, the speaker is not helping you, he is not teaching you. We are saying, look at yourself. We have got the capacity, the energy, the suffi sufficient intelligence to go into ourselves, look at ourselves, face ourselves, never escaping from us. We have got all the energy to do that. Think what, ne what energy is needed to go to the moon. You understand, sir? Enormous cooperative energy, drive. But apparently, when it comes to us, we kind of become slack. We wither. And we hope somebody will water, give us water that will bring us again to health. Nobody is going to give it to you. That's one absolute fact, irrefutable fact. Because we have had leaders, we have had teachers, we have had saviors, we have had every kind of outside agency. infinite 
information about ourselves from, from others. And all that has not freed us from fear. And so, out of our laziness, out of our indifference, out of our callousness, we invent gods and all the rest of it. And the misfortune is, we are because we don't know ourselves, we're destroying our, destroying other human beings. We're destroying this marvelous earth. Praise